Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to root your Amazon Fire TV. Um, it's a new root method that just got released here today and I'm going to show you guys how to implement it and get Super Sue working on your device. So to do this, um, you're going to need to have your ADB EXE folder ready. Now if you don't have one of these, I'll go ahead and zip one up for you so it'll probably have these four files in it. Just unzip it and you know throw it in a folder. This is where mine's at. It's got a bunch of other files I've been working with, but you need to have these four files: ADB EXE and Fastboot EXE, and these ADB Wins, two of them. All right, very simple. Put them in a folder. That's first step on rooting your Amazon Fire TV. All right, so we've done that. The next thing we need to do is we need to download some files, and I actually hosted them myself, so they're easy to find right here on um, Root Junkies dl.com these are the two files you need one is towel root apk and the other one is super user apk so just click on them when you click on anything in my server you just click on it once and then it's going to download now it says it could be a problem that's fine i'm going to say keep and i'm going to go back and then you click on this one and again you don't click on the name again you just wait on the screen and it's going to auto download you can see it downloading right there all right, so we have our two files downloaded. Let's go back to our folder we have set up. This is mine. I'm going to shoot to downloads. And I'm going to copy these two files over. So I'm actually going to cut them, actually. We'll cut, go back to our folder, paste them in here. Very good. And then, well, you know what we need to do next? We need to turn on um, USB debugging or ADB debugging over the Internet because we're gonna actually do this through our Wi-Fi network in our house to give us these files and install these two apps on Amazon Fire TV. So, to do that, let me just show you really quick and we'll shoot back to the computer. All right, so to turn on USB debugging, all you gotta do is go into settings, scroll over to system, scroll down, developer options, and AB debugging, make sure it is turned on. And you can even read what it says right there. It says, um, turn on to enable ADB connections over the network. And that's why we're typing in that IP address and going ADB connect to the IP address so that we're connecting through ADB debugging to this device specifically. So um, there you go. That's how to turn it on. Pretty simple, not hard to do at all. All right, so now we have ADB uh, set up on the Amazon Fire TV. Uh, basically from here, there's a couple things you're going to need to do. First is in this window, just hold shift, right click, and see where it says open command window here. Go ahead and do that, and you're going to get this uh, information right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in some commands to get us connected to our Fire TV. So just type in ADB connect, and then we need to get the IP address of our device. So to do that, let me just go ahead and show you this. We're going to go into Network. Here's Tom's Fire TV. Right click Properties. Here is the IP address. Copy. Close. That gives us the IP address. Back up here we have ADB Connect Space. Paste the IP address in. Hit Enter. And you're already connected because I did this earlier. Normally it's going to kill server, start server, and then connect. So to prove that you are connected to your device, just type in ADB devices. Should come back with the IP address, uh, a port, and then device. That means everything is connected correctly. All right, very, very good. We're going to actually shoot back to this folder really quick because it's easier to work in this folder. So now we're going to install these two applications. So one, is, we're going to do ADB install space. And then just drag the application you want to install in. There you go. Hit enter. And it's going to send those successful. Very good. So then do ADB install space. Then drag towel root. Whoop. Didn't drag it. Drag towel root up. Hit enter. And both applications are successfully installed on our Amazon Fire TV. All right, that's it. You're done on the computer. 
From here, it should go very, very smoothly. Let's go ahead and shoot over to my Amazon Fire TV. Now, just want to point out, if you ever want to install an application, this is the exact process you would do it. If it's an application that's not on the device automatically or you can't download from Amazon, you can sideload it with this exact process. But I already have a video on that. You can check it out if you want. Let's go over to the Fire TV and show you how to finish up this root process. All right, guys, so we want to finish this install to finish up root access on our device here. So to do that, you're just going to scroll down here to settings, and then we're going to scroll to applications. And you can see applications that maybe aren't showing in your normal application list in here. And you're just going to look for this one, tile root, hit enter, launch application, and right here, we're just going to come up here and click on this one. And what's going to happen here is your device, your kin, uh, your Amazon Fire TV is going to reboot in 15 seconds. All right, it's very simple. Once it reboots, we'll finish up this root process. It doesn't take very long. It should just be a quick second here. There you go, device turning off. And device coming back. Amazon. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that's my own theme. Theme song right there, sound effects, yeah. There's again, Amazon Fire TV. You're almost through here. This is gonna be very simple to do. From here, we're just gonna launch the SuperSuit application. And then I'll just show you with another root application to prove that we have root access on the device. All right, so we're gonna go down to settings again. Back to launch application. Scroll to super user or super sue hit enter launch application so it says you have to update the sue binaries to continue hit the normal way and please wait installing successfully okay no thank you and shabam you have root access yeah all right so we're gonna go home really quick and we're gonna go to another application and we're gonna go to ES File Browser. Here we go. Launch this sucker. And we're gonna scroll over to Tools. Um, I'm gonna say Cancel for right now. Go to Root Explorer. And there it is. So go ahead and hit Grant. And that's it. You have root access on your device. I'm gonna write this as uh, Read Write because that's the way I liked it. If I can get it to right here, there we go. There it is, read write, okay. Shabam, that's it. You have root access on your Amazon Pod TV. Say what? Yeah, I know, I'm cranked up today. Super pumped. All right, just to prove it again, we'll go into Super Sue and I'll launch the application and you should see, there it is, ES File Browser, or ES File yeah, Explorer has root access. Shabam. That's it, guys. That is how to root your Amazon Fire TV. Hope you guys like this little tutorial on it. Hope it was informative. Keep watching. I'll be doing more on this device and all the other devices I cover. And we'll catch you guys next time. Woo! Root Chucky out. Yeah.